application which is text to speech converter right so this is going to be a very simple app i think we already have created such a kind of an app in uh, thunkable okay so let's see how it works in mit app inventor right like how exactly we can start creating something in mit right this is going to be our first app in mit because the last session was an intro session yes so yeah let's quickly get started with our first app this is going to be fun and interesting okay let's do it now uh, if you have not been watching my series yet please do go back to my channel and start watching uh, any of the C, uh, playlist whichever you like right so that you get you have a better idea of the content and the concept so along with that uh, you can subscribe to my channel if you're new here and you can do like and share and comment right so if you like it you can um, do share it so yes let me just uh, quickly tell you how to start off so we already have a screen one here right so on the right side you have accent color align horizontal so i will just say align horizontal as center because horizontally i want all my elements to be in center and vertically also i think i just want all my elements to be in center of the screen okay so i'm just giving align horizontal and align vertical as center you can change the background color here okay don't worry that you only have these many options right so if you want you can customize the color also let's suppose i'm just clicking on some color then i'll click on custom so you can see the custom color palette here right so i think i would choose um a, a pale uh, yellow color is like fine oh uh, not only clicking on that is enough right clicking on the shade is enough you have to click on done only then it gets applied so don't forget okay you can also include a background image like uh, like in thunkable we used to do right so here um, you can actually just download the image and upload the file from here okay choose the file and then click on okay to get the image right some other day maybe so we will be doing that or uh, i think i already okay so yeah some other day we'll do it no not a big deal so when you use this big default text right so for all the elements you can just uh, get the default size of the text okay you need not change the text things anymore if you use this big default text that's why i'm just checking this box and then you have few other properties here but i don't think i should be using any of these for today so yeah this is cool so we we got the screen and uh, we also got it ready now right now the next thing i would like to add is a label because i just want to show the title of the thing right so let's change the text of the label as text to speech converter converter right nice so like you can see it is already getting the big big text the font right that's because of big default text if if that is not checked then this would be very small because of this 14.0 size right but uh, yeah however we we could do it so font bold font italic we can do uh, you can also change within height of the element text alignment you can change it from left to center or right it's up it's all up to you okay and text color yes definitely you can change it to any other text color i think i would choose blue so i like it and if you want you can also choose the background color so maybe let's say yeah this is cool this looks good i think i would go by this thing okay so this is uh, this is how you can style a label in your uh, mit app inventor like in thunkable you do not have more options here so only these many options are available but yes but still it, it looks pretty cool right i really like it so this is how we can style a label right now after which uh, we will be needing a text input box so whatever user is entering right 
let's convert that into speech then your user is also happy and we are also happy right <laughs> okay so let's yeah here is the text box just get the trick text box and draw, drop it on the screen that's it okay so you can make the font bold here also font italic and you can give the hint hint will not be visible to us on our screen here right but on the mobile phone when you check it it will definitely um, show that thing okay so we can just say type here okay then um, so if you want to give any text you can give it here but we don't want to so i'm not giving anything text color shall be blue yeah i think that's it apart from these we cannot do anything in this so we do not have multiple options and we do not have multiple confusions here <laughs> okay so uh, this is one of the good part only if we, even if we have less number of options here right so this is about um, text box right after which we will be needing a button because after giving the text if he enters i mean if, if he clicks on the button then we will be converting it that would be simple and easy right so i'm just dragging a button and placing it oh dragging a button and placing it over here so and then uh, you can make font bold font italic you can change background color so maybe maybe i will choose yellow not this yellow a different yellow so let's customize this so i think orange yellow would suit yeah i like it so and then now uh, we have font typeface we only have limited options only three options here so if you like sans serif you can keep it if you like serif you can keep this or we have monospace apart from these you do not have any i think i'll keep monospace for today you can change uh, height and width that's it's absolutely up to you you can give background image also if you want you just have to upload and uh, click on okay to use it so you can change the shape again we have limited options here so rounded this will be a rounded button okay and if you want to change it to rectangular you can choose this rectangular shape or oval so this is oval shape okay i think i will go with rounded for today i like it for this and text will be speak because it will speak out something isn't it so that's why i'm just giving speak i think i'll choose blue color as the text i like this text alignment to center already and that's it we can't do any other thing apart from this right so now you have a label you have a text box to enter some some text we have a button to click on it right so we only need text to speech converter so you can get text to speech component from here drop it on the screen it is however a non visible component so it goes into the non visible component section right like in thunkable you have invisible component section here we have non non visible component section that's it nothing much so you can choose country if you would like to you can choose language if you would like to we only have limited options here and uh, of course we will be having english as the default one so i'm not changing anything pitch and speech rate uh, it's up to you if you want to adjust them but uh, i really don't want to mess up with these values now so yes this is all about it let's go to blocks and start coding so like you can see here we have all the categories and we also have all the uh, components right so for each component you will be getting some related blocks like in thunkable we get it's almost the same so when button one is clicked right then we would like to make i mean no, make the system speak something right so then how would you do that so let's go to text to speech so get this call text to speech right what will be the message it will speak out something definitely with the speak method so message would be given from the text box whatever is inside the text box you should get that right i'm just getting text box text okay so i hope um, we already have discussed about the color coding of the blocks and what does each block do uh, if you have not been watching my series yet go back to thunkable in that you have the color coding uh, block color coding thing 
just watch that video so that you can understand this color coding also right so these are event blocks these are method calls and this is uh, getter property okay getter block right so i'm just getting text box text with this one right now when you click on the button it will speak out whatever is inside the text box that's it okay so this is how simple it is so i will not be able to show you the execution parts over here right like i told you we have to either use uh, ai companion so if you use ai companion it will show you this qr code you can scan it to check it okay and uh, here we have emulator so emulator will be a little slow but uh, maybe i will just uh, wait for you to show you okay it's not working right now at the moment no issues what i will do i will connect it in my phone and i will show you so with this uh, qr code scanner i mean uh, in your mobile phone you should have mit ai2 companion app right then uh, you will have a button called a scan qr code on the app when you click on it it will scan the qr code and it will show you the output on your screen yes i can absolutely see the output and it's it's very cool it's it's so lovely to see uh, i'm just typing in hi folks how are you all doing today please subscribe to my channel folks i'm just typing in this let's speak out the same thing now hi folex how are you all doing today please subscribe to my channel folex hub oh my god <laughs> it just says the same thing let's do a small change on this right language i will say en let's see what it does right so i'm just typing in something now please subscribe to my channel folex hub oh yeah this does the thing so uh, let's check with other languages and see what happens this is espanol i think right i mean some spanish language mostly so please subscribe to my channel folex hub <laughs> like you can see it is actually uh, saying the same thing in that kind of a slang right the accent is being used so let's try with french once please subscribe to my channel folub oh my god <laughs> okay so this is about the app i really like it the design is pretty cool Uh, when you see it on the phone so if you want to do this you definitely have to open mit create an account in mit you just have to click on continue with google and just create an account that's it nothing much you have to do so like i will also show you this thing uh, because i have i just forgot to show you how to open mit so mit app inventor you have to say click on enter then you will get the first link like this just click on it okay then you have this kind of a page right when you click on create apps it will take you to your uh, apps page okay so this is my projects page where i have all my projects over here so don't worry uh, i have so many projects so that's how you open um, mit app inventor and projects section okay so with this create apps button you have to do it right so yeah this was all about our today's session guys i hope you really enjoyed this and you like it right so if you like it please do like it <laughs> okay so please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks hub thank you so much for watching this video and i'll come up with many more videos in the next sessions okay so till then you know what you have to do you just have to keep watching folks hub bye bye guys have a great day